All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 18. All right. So right now the song's HTML is an, is an array. Pardon me. If we tried to display this as is, we would see the songs separated by commas, right? Uh, this is not the desired outcome because we want to display the songs as a list. So to fix this, we will need to join the array into a single string by using the join method. The join method is used to concatenate all the elements of an array, pardon me, into a single string. It takes an optional parameter called a separator which is used to separate each element of the array. For example, we've got something like this. We've got an example array. This is a sentence, all these words as their own elements. Uh, then we have const sentence equals example r dot join, and we're joining them, joining them by space, all right? So the separator takes a space character. And then right here, we're gonna say console.log sentence. We're just gonna put this in there. And then we're gonna output this is a sentence just like that with the spaces in between, all right? So now we're gonna chain the join method together. Actually, 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 before we do that, let's go check out the join method in action up here. So the join method, and let's just go through this. So the join method of array instances creates and returns a new string by concatenating all of the elements in this array, separated by commas or a specified separator string. If the array has only one item, then that item will be returned without using a separator, all right? So if we don't have anything in there, like in here we have the space inside of the string. Uh, if we don't have anything, it'll just separate it by commas like this. If we just put an empty array, it'll butt them right next to each other like this one here. And just like the space, if we put the, uh, if we put like a hyphen in there, it'll separate them by hyphens instead of the space on this one, right? So whatever goes inside of this string is going to be the separator. So when we run it, you see we've got the, commas here for nothing. And then we've got the fire, air, and water right next to each other when it's an empty string. And then right here, we've got the hyphens when it's just a hyphen, right? So let's come over here and we're gonna chain the join method to our map method and pass in an empty string for the separate. And to chain multiple methods together, we can call the join method on the result of the map method. So for example, we'd have array.map and whatever's in the map, just like this right here, and then after this uh, closing parenthesis, we'll have dot join, and then we'll put the whatever separator we have in there, right? So we can see here, this is the, uh, where, where, where? so here's this uh, opening parenthesis for the map. So we're going to be putting it right after this closing parenthesis right here. That's what these boxes mean. The boxes mean their length. So we're going to come over here and say dot join. And we're joining it by an empty string, right? So that they'll just be butted right next to up, to, butted up right next to each other, right? And then let's cap this thing off with a semicolon like this. Do we need to do that? Yeah, okay, that's cool. And it works and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 19 and we'll see you next time.